Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell and his cabinet colleagues signed the Book of Condolence at the Governor General's residence on Monday as Grenada mourns the passing of the country's head of state, Queen Elizabeth II. Following news of her death last Thursday, Honorable Mitchell announced that flags will be flown at half-mast throughout the state until the date of Her Majesty's funeral on Monday, September 19th. Representative of the monarch, Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade, who will be among heads of state attending Her Majesty's funeral at Westminster Abbey, read the proclamation announcing the new head of the Commonwealth, His Majesty King Charles III. The proclamation was signed by both the Governor General and the Prime Minister. We, therefore, Cecile Ellen Fleuret Lagrenade, Governor General of Grenada, Honorable Deacon Amos Thomas Mitchell, Prime Minister of Grenada, Assisted by other members of the Houses of Parliament and citizens here do present, do now hereby, with one voice and consent of town and heart, publish and proclaim that the High and Mighty Prince Charles Philip Arthur George is now, by the death of our late Sovereign of happy and glorious memory, become our only lawful and rightful Lord Charles III, by the grace of God, King of Grenada and of his other realms and territories, Head of the Commonwealth, to whom we acknowledge all faith and constant obedience with all hearty and humble affection, besieging God, by whom all kings and queens do reign, to bless the royal King Charles III with long and happy years to reign over us. Members of the Cabinet, the Cabinet Secretary, Mrs. Ruth Rouse, and the Commission of Police, Edwin Martin, all took the opportunity to pen words of comfort and hope to the royal family in the condolence book. Resident British High Commission, Wendy Freeman, was also present at Monday's ceremony.